The legend Hayonga died in Okongo State Hospital on the 13th of this month at the age of 92. The pioneer of the liberation struggle spent half of his productive life fighting for the freedom and independence of the country. He joined the Southwest Africa Liberation Army, SWALA, in 1967, received military training in Zambia, specializing in infantry and artillery. Hayonga was later deployed to the Northern Front, appointed camp commander in 1980, and worked as camp commander at Nawa Base in Lubango from 1982 until his return home in 1989. Because of his good deeds and sacrifice, he was awarded the Most Distinguished Order of Namibia First Class in 2007 by former President Hifike Punye Puamba. In his message, President Hage Gengop says liberation stalwarts such as Hayonga should be honored. His ultimate aim and that of his peers was to see an independent Namibia. A Namibia where fundamental human rights and freedoms are guaranteed. A Namibia free of discrimination and nepotism. And a Namibia where the people who have the destiny of their own country in their own hands. Former President Hifike Punye Pohamba and founding President Sam Nuyoma also sent their messages of condolences. Comrade Kalepo Jack Ayonga lived a, a purposeful life. And and although he de although although his departure has brought unmeasurable pain, we are consoled by the fact that he lived to witness Namibia's reconstruction and development into a peaceful and democratic state. The late Comrade Dayonga's name is now written in golden letters, in the chapters and letters of our country, in letters of our country's history, as he never gave up and never wavered until the attainment of our freedom and the German independence on the 21st of March, 1990. The president of the Namibia National Liberation Veteran Association, Ben Shikongo, also paid respect to the fearless freedom fighter. The loss of late Comrade Hayonga has affected all of us, in particular war veterans of the liberation struggle and the nation at large. It is thus my humble request that we all seek solace in the comforting arms of Almighty God during this time of bereavement and sorrow. He will be dearly missed. His casket was lowered in concurrent with firing party. <laughs> Hayonga is the sixth veteran of the liberation struggle to be buried at a Nana Memorial Shrine. He is survived by his wife and six children.